I'm going to start by calling the fopen function. So I'm just going to define my main function here. I'm going to save this into file. Let's open up the man page for a sec for fopen. You can see that it comes from SCDIO, so I'm going to add this import right over here. And the actual type is file pointer. And that's I'm just going to save into f. fopen is going to get the path name. So I'm going to get this from the arguments. So argc is going to be defined here, and then we got argv, which is going to be right over here. So I'm going to take the first argv. Again, I'm reminding that all this code is going to be just for fun and for learning purposes. So I'm just going to skip a lot of checks. Afterwards, I'm going to pass in the mode argument. So I'm going to search for mode here in the man page. We can see that the mode actually gets a couple of uh, different strings that set how the file is going to be opened. I'm just going to pass in for now that I want to read the file, so I'm just going to pass in R. Afterwards, I'm going to use fread to actually read the file content. I'm going to pass in a buffer that I'm going to define later. Afterwards, size is going to be, for example, 1024, and the number of members is going to be 1, just one block of 1024. Finally, the stream is going to be f that we opened in the line above. Just going to define buffer here as well. I'm going to initialize this with zeros. Afterwards, I'm going to close the file. So I'm going to use for this the function call fclose. And now I have the actual contents in the buffer. So now I can start the editing itself. And I'm going to start by asking the user what line the user wants to edit. So I'm going to say this in current line. I'm going to scan if for this. Let's open scan if. See that we need to pass in a format. So I'm going to just get a number from the user. I'm going to store this into the current line variable. After this, the current line is going to be with, filled in with the input that the user put for the current line to edit. Actually, before asking for the current line, it's a good idea to actually print the contents of the file. So I'm just going to print the buffer. After this, I'm going to create my own function called edit line. I'm going to pass in the current line and also the buffer. Now let's go ahead and uh, create that function edit line. It's going to get a pointer to the buffer and the current line. First thing we want to go ahead is actually locate the line that we want to go to in the buffer. So for this, I'm going to search for the new line character inside the buffer. I'm going to do that using the str char function. I'm going to open it right over here, str char. This locates a character in the string. So it gets a string and a character to locate. So I'm just going to pass in the buffer and I'm going to search for the new line character. And this will actually return a pointer to the match character. So I'm going to just save this again into buffer. It's just going to keep searching from the next new line each time. So I'm going to put this in an actual for loop. I'm going to for until I get to the current line. I'm going to add one after str char because this will actually be bring me to the new line. I want to get one ahead of the new line each time. Okay, after this finish, the buffer now points to the line that I want to edit. So I'm going to actually now save a pointer to the line end. I'm going to again call strchar for this. Now I can go ahead and actually save aside the rest of the buffer. So I'm going to allocate another buffer for this. I'm going to use str copy to actually copy the line end. I'm going to open the manual page for a sec for str copy. This will get into saved, and I'm going to copy the line from the line end. And after this, saved will contain the rest of the contents of the file after the line I'm editing. So now I'm going to call scanf. I'm going to get a string from the user. And I'm going to store this into buffer. 
Finally, I'm going to use str copy again. This time, I'm going to copy back the saved buffer into the buffer. So the destination for this case is going to be buffer plus the len of the buffer. So str len, that's another function, str len. That, that gets a string and just tells you the length of the string. So I'm just going to use this on buffer. So str len here will actually get me the length of the text that the user input it in this line because it added this into the buffer. And the source in this case is going to be the save buffer. Now let's go back to the main function. After edit line, I'm going to open again the file. This time in write mode. I'm going to use another function called fwrite. And this will get a pointer to write to the file. So in this case, it's going to be the buffer. The second argument is the size. That's going to be the size of the block to write. So in this case, I'm going to call strlen on the buffer. Number of members is just going to be one. I'm going to write one block. Finally, the stream is going to be f. Now I can finish off by closing the file again, closing this function. Now let's go ahead and compile this. Looks like I forgot to include a file. Let's add an include here for string.h. Have a little error here, let's see. Yeah, forgot. In the for loop, I forgot to increase i. Okay, nice. Now it compiles nicely. I have this little test file here, a.txt. Let's just go ahead and switch this into hello world hello. So I have three lines in this file. And now I'm going to use my editor for this. You can see that I printed out the contents of the file. Let's go ahead and, for example, change line number one, which is actually going to be the line with world, because the line starts from zero. Let's change this to a different word. Now let's take a look at the file. And you can see that works nicely. Subscribe for more programming videos and thanks for watching.